Till now, we have looked at the locomotion patterns of various lower organisms. Organisms which do not have bones to form a skeleton within their bodies. The organisms we studied so far included earthworms, snails and cockroaches. Now it's time for us to move ahead and learn the movement and locomotion in higher animals. Animals which have a well-defined bony skeleton. Let's begin with a simple animal like a snake. So does a snake have a bony skeleton inside its body? Yes, it does. It has a vertebral column that forms its backbone, which is extremely long and strong. Same is the case with its muscles. The muscles inside a snake's body are thin but are extremely strong. Have you ever seen a snake moving? There can be many words to describe its locomotion. We can say a snake glides, it crawls, it slides or so many terms. But what happens in reality? Well, the precise word to describe a snake's movement is slithering. Yes, snakes slither. That means they move on on any surface smoothly, twisting and oscillating their body. But tell me one thing, a snake, in spite of having bones, does not have forelimbs or hind limbs. To be precise, a snake does not have hands or legs. So how does it locomote? Does it drag its body all the way? No, it doesn't. There are various movements that are carried out by different types of snakes. However, we will learn about them in detail in the higher grades. For now, let's understand how exactly a snake moves in general. The backbone of a snake is extremely strong but at the same time, it's flexible enough to bend efficiently. The backbone is connected to the outer skin with the help of the thin muscles present in between the two. So now imagine these muscles curve themselves and push forward by pressing against the ground, then won't the connected backbone and the skin move along? Of course it will. And all the muscles are interconnected to each other. So the curved structure formed by muscles in the anterior side will help in the formation of curved structures by the muscles that follow. This is how we find these loop-like structures formed by the snake's body. Each of this loop or simply a curve presses against the ground and helps to push the body forward. That's another reason why we do not find the snake moving in a straight line. It never moves linearly. The loops formed by the body make it go in a curved path. For now, this is all we need to know about a snake's locomotion. We have been discussing about animals that locomote on the ground for a while. But what about animals that locomote in the air and water? Let's understand the locomotion in birds and fish in the upcoming videos.